hello, this is Joe from Nerd in Korea. We are doing our, well, it's a budget kindred technically, but this is our scary MTG. We're doing scarecrows, the really creepiest ones. There's some scary boys in here, let's say that. Oh, please hit like and subscribe. Also, we have a Facebook group now. It's MTG Nerd in Korea, so if you want to check that out, it's there. You can contact me or give me any kind of feedback you like. So what is budget? Again, usually I say $2 and under, and here it's 50 cents and under. Once again, use the TCG player market value, never a sponsor. No, no it's not. Number five. Okay, Bang Skulkin. It's a two mana for a two one. And for two mana, he has an ability. It does not tap, so you can just keep doing this, but yeah. Target black creature. It is for only for black creatures. Gains wither until end of turn. Wither may not sound that impressive, but all damage becomes minus counters instead of like standard damage. Indestructible creatures. Doesn't matter. Um, any creature. Counters means that the damage at the end of combat, you know, or the end of the turn, all damage is healed. Counters minus counters are not healed, right? Basically, all your damage becomes permanent. Just forever. You, you anyone that is uh, coming up against you has to really think a lot more. So, or even if they want to attack you, they have to say, oh wait, this person might just, you know, give me permanent damage. Uh, if it's a multiplayer game, they'll probably just attack someone else, is what I think. Anyway, 23 cents. Number four. Wildfire Witch Folk. Okay, so we got a Gruel one here. A red and a green. I feel like Gruel is a, a, it's on fire, so maybe that makes sense. A 3-2 with haste. It has Delirium. Delirium is definitely a common mechanic for, uh, for, uh, Scarecrows. There's a bunch of kids shouting outside. It's really distracting. I hope you can't hear it. Um, <clears throat> so Delirium just means if you have four or more card types in your graveyard, it gets this bonus effect. So if you've got, like, anything where you're sacking things, or maybe if you're self-milling, this will get done very, very quickly. But what is interesting about this, usually the Delirium cards kind of aren't really good without Delirium. This one, without Delirium, this is a 3-2 with haste. With Delirium, it gets plus one, plus one, and trample as well. So it'll be haste, trample, uh, four, three, for two mana. That is good. Oh my. Anyway, again, even without the Delirium, a 3 2 with haste for 2 mana is still pretty good, I think. Anyway, 9 cents only. Number 3. Wicker. Oh, sorry, Wicker Folk Thresher. 3 and a green, so 4 CMC for a 5 4. So, again, not bad. A lot of these, the attack value to the CMC is, or the stats to compare to the uh, CMC, is actually pretty good. Uh, so, it has Delirium whenever it attacks. Again, if there are 4 more types in your graveyard, it makes you kind of reliant on your graveyard. You could get like Ground Seal or something to help you defend your graveyard with this one at least. But, yeah. You may look at the top card of your library whenever he attacks. If it's a land card, put it straight into the battlefield tapped. Every single attack. If you've got some kind of top deck man manipulation, if you can scry, if you can whatever, you can always make sure there's a land right on top of your deck and then just keep throwing lands in every turn. Your land drop and an extra land. Um, that is really, really good. Even if you get two of these, I think it's worth the four mana. It's a 5-4 for 4 mana, which is not bad already, but this is just going to, like, ramp you as well. It's crazy. Anyway, 4 cents only. Why? Number 2. Antler Skullkin. Okay, 5 mana. Getting up there now. For the 3-3. Three, three. Mm, 5 CMC for a 3-3. Three, three. Kind of breaking this trend of, like, being good value. But anyway, for 2... Target white creature gains persist until end of turn. So this is only for white creatures, but persists. Oh my. So anytime a white creature goes to the graveyard, it's going to come straight back to the battlefield with a minus one, minus one counter. Um, 
I recently covered an angel deck that was mono white, and I should have had this in it. The minus one, minus one counters, if it gets a plus one, plus one counter, they cancel out and disappear. So this is just like immortality for angels. How did I not see this before? Oh, I'm dumb. Okay. Anyway, your uh, white creatures are just going to keep coming back to the battlefield over and over and over. And yeah, if you can get plus one counters on them, then uh, it's permanent. Especially if they like enter and get plus one counters, then it's just insane. Anyway, it does cost two mana to do that, so it's not, I guess, uh, it's not like an infinite thing, but 19 cents? Number one! Ooh, that's a scary one. Swarm Weaver, two Golgari, so uh, black green for two three. Okay, four for two three, not green. When it enters, create two one one black and green insect creature tokens with flying. Oh boy, so that is four attack power and five toughness on the board for four mana. Two of it being flyers, individual flyers that are wait. Yeah, they are black and green as well. So if you've got some kind of anthem effect for black creatures and green creatures, they'll get both. This can get big really, really fast. Once again, Delirium, as long as there are four or more card types among cards in your graveyard, da da da. Insects and spiders you control get plus one, plus one, and have death touch. Just automatic plus one, plus one, eh, but death touch for your whole board. Um... All your insects and spiders. I also love that the like you can build this as a commander, and where it's like that kind of mesh of like two different kindred types that you get to draw on. Especially insects and spiders. Insects are great with flying. Spiders are great with reach. They're both pretty good with death touch. And yeah, hey, you could just make it so like you're uh, terrifying to attack a deck where they just do not want to come at you. That is what this would be. Anyway, 31 cents. I've got to order some of these. A list. Okay. King Skullkin is uh, 23 cents. Wildfire Witch. Oh, Wicker Folk. I keep saying Witch instead of Wicker. Witch. Uh, wicker Folk. 9 cents. Wicker Folk Thresher. 4 cents. Antler Skullkin. 19 cents? Swarm Weaver, 31 cents. All right, take it easy.